Welcome back to the channel. Thanks to my sponsor PCB Way. Grew up in a place. I came along this great design from Robert Cowan on printables. I knew I had to make it and I downloaded the files. I didn't have the space that Robert Cowan has and it didn't fit my IKEA lag tables, so I decided to redesign it all. To fit two under my lag tables I had to lose 4cm in width and I wanted it to be square. I had to lower the rails and adjust everything to make the filament rolls fit. I really love Robert's design and I hope he likes the way I redesigned it. It took me about two days to redesign it all, then test print it, then redesigned it again, reinforced some parts, but I'm really happy with the results. And if you compare it side by side, you can really see the differences and I hope everybody can appreciate the work I put into it. I really tried to keep the same look because that's what I loved and I think I really succeeded in that. ASMR warning starting now. I printed all the parts in ABS and before I did that I built a new enclosure around my printer. You can see the other video I made about that. The link to that video will be in top of the screen. PCB Way for sponsoring this video. PCB Way is best known for manufacturing PCBs, but they also do CNC machining, 3D printing, and much more. Also handy is the PCB prototype assembly. Go check them out on PCBWay.com. I use these GTV sliders and I really like them. They're high quality. You can use cheaper ones, but be aware there's gonna be a lot of weight on them. You can easily press the sliders into the frame, it's a snug fit. Use the small screws to secure them. The screws are only meant to keep them in place, don't tighten them too hard because your plastic will split. All the printed parts used in this video are available on Maker World. I'll put a link in the description below. After the case is done, it's time to assemble the drawers, put in the PVC pipes, and again, don't over tighten the screws because your plastic will split. You can easily snap them on the PVC pipe and 
secure this to the front panel. Again, don't over tighten the screws, it will break. I had to reprint it twice. To secure the PVC pipe, just drill some holes and put the screws in. Pre-drilling is not necessary, but I did it anyway. Operations are done, it's time to clear out the old drawers. Tape them down with double sided tape and they really stuck on there. I attach them together before placing them inside the lac table. Uh, it's much easier that way. Make sure they align properly. I screw them down because of the weight that's going to be on them. I think it's better that way. If you're not certain yet, use double sided tape to stick them down. Because of my redesign I had to take out the filament out of the bags because that doesn't fit anymore. That's the compromise I made. Now let's see if they slide correctly. And because I don't have enough room to put two on top of each other I decided to put a shelf in it's a piece of board I had that was left over from my kitchen and I think it really looks good take a look at the final results and again thanks to my patreons like and subscribe or you can support me on patreon thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next